First on Fox, two people are dead after that fiery crash along I-85 in Cherokee County. We brought you this as breaking news last night. Now it left the road shut down for nearly 13 hours. Gary Parks and Sharon Alexander were killed in the crash that involved four semis. This happened in that zone, that construction zone, and it has a lot of people concerned about safety on I-85. Fox Carolina's Jarvis Robertson asking drivers about their concerns tonight, and he joins us live near 85. That's right, Cody Victoria here along 85 right now. What I can see the traffic is flowing just fine. But today I did go through our Facebook comments and a lot of people hate driving on this stretch of interstate. It's clear tonight there are two grieving families in a lot of pain. Whoever's doing the construction, whether it's South Carolina, has kind of created an unsafe environment. Driving along I-85 in Cherokee County is something that frustrates many people. The sentiments of 21-year-old Sarah Grigg, who's no stranger to this stretch. It's kind of like you just edge up the road and you're waiting to hit a traffic spot. And when you finally get through it, sometimes you didn't and sometimes you did. So I think the headache comes from not knowing if you're going to hit a traffic jam or not. Thursday night, Highway Patrol says a fiery six-vehicle crash happened, leaving two people dead and the interstate closed for more than 13 hours. If you travel in this area, you know what and how things look throughout the day. SCDOT is widening I-85 between mile markers 85 and 96. For Greg, she'll get off at exit 83 and get back on at 95 to avoid having to deal with any traffic congestions. So like I'll skip the entire Gaffney section of the interstate just because especially like sometimes it's northbound, sometimes it's southbound, depending on what they're working on. Now I did reach out to SCDOT and Highway Patrol asking questions like when will this project be done and also how many crashes have been responded to here in this specific area. Now I did get an email back from SCDOT at 925 tonight. They told me the project is expected to be completed sometime in late 2023. Reporting live in Gaffney tonight, I'm Jarvis Robertson, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.